A Chinese proverb says that destiny is made up of invisible red threads that connect those who are fated to meet, regardless of time, regardless of place, or regardless of circumstance. These threads may stretch or tangle, but they will never break. She connects you and me, two strangers, through the sacred bond of motherhood. We stand on either side of loss and grief. We stand on either side of her life's journey. We live in other parts of our great world. I respect you. I empathize with you. I will forever be thankful for the difficult decision you had to make. Without it, she would not be with me. I love my child, and so it is that I love you as well, because you are part of her. You are lovely. I see this in her. You are a willow, graceful and deceptively strong. I know this because she is. You exist within every cell of her physical being. You exist deep within her memory stores, and I'm sure of this. Someday she may want to know more, and I prepare her for this, but for now she feels secure in her ingrained knowledge of you. She is Western, and she is Eastern. She is Ox, and she is Capricorn. <coughs> She has some of your characteristics, and she has some of mine. She is poise, wit, and grace. She is ethical, committed to goals, and thoughtful. She is wise beyond her years, an old soul who knows who she is and is comfortable with that knowledge. Did you suspect these things when you labored to birth her into the lush, fertile world during that cold Monday in winter? Did you know? You overcame great obstacles to bring her into this world. You hid your pregnancy. You gave birth to her away from your community. You ushered her to safety, risking yours so that she would end up within my loving arms. There are no words to thank you. I picture you overwhelmingly despondent with the knowledge that you cannot nurture her and watch her grow up into a remarkable woman. I imagine you in the park just after you have carefully set the basket with her warmly bundled form in a conspicuous place where someone will find her quickly. Tears pour down your stoic cheeks while you wait and hope, watching over her from a distance. Bidding her goodbye, forever. I want to hold you. I want to comfort you, but I can't. So I hold her instead, willing comfort your way. I give her a home, family, unconditional love, and guidance. I laugh with her, cry with her. And now I hold her hand as she steps over the threshold to discover the mysteries of herself as she embarks on womanhood. I wonder how you feel as of years speed by about the decision you had to make. I know as a mother you think of her continuously, and I wish I could convey to you that she is more than fine. She is content, balanced, joyous, and oh so beautiful. She is deeply loved and cherished by her family. Every time I look at the moon and stars in the deepest quiet of night, 
I send prayers and thoughts your way, believing that you can hear me and you can feel my intentions. I hope that they will find you healthy and happy, at peace. She is between us, connecting you and me through her graceful and invisible red threads. She's our blessing. She is my heart and your soul, born of you, adopted by me, our daughter. <laughs>